peace. Happy now. Now is the vibrate. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Oh. Damn. Right now. <laughs> right now. Matter of fact, I want to start doing videos like this more often. Like sometimes I have information that, how could I say? Because I'm a, I'm a Capricorn. As a, as a Capricorn, I'm a perfectionist. And as a perfectionist, when I'm giving people information or knowledge, I be feeling like if I don't have ultimately almost all the knowledge on the subject or at least, you know, like just like a lot of knowledge on the subject, you know, or a lot of things to say about it that I don't really even be wanting to speak on it. But I be, but it's some information where I may not be able to go way deep into it, but I like to just plant that seed to say, hey, man, y'all check this out. I look deeper into it, you know, because it's funny because you don't want to just start a video like, you know, like a. Uh, Airplane motors. Go look that up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't... It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? And then, how could I be a, a YouTube? You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta give some information, you know? But, uh... Matter of fact, I just wanted to bring up, uh... This guy, Kenneth Grant. Kenneth Grant was a, uh... A guy who basically, uh... He was in the OTO, uh... The Aleister Crowley creative. If you're familiar with Aleister Crow Alistair Crowley... He's a, uh, you know, he he's least known as uh, George Bush's grandfather, but he's George Bush's grandfather, aka uh, a high mason, aka uh, person. Matter of fact, he 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 was very profound when it came to uh, like dealing with a lot of metaphysical information. You know, even though he chose to to do it in a, a dark path, you know what I'm saying, a unrighteous, you know what I'm saying, like he dealt with drugs, uh, I think he dealt with, you know, little, you know, molestation, I know for sure he dealt with a lot of uh, homosexual, gay, mad, sex magic, like a lot of just all kind of, you know, different little magics, but I know for sure I think he did some with little kids if I ain't mistaken, but anyway, it's a very dark being. But he, 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 he did do a lot, you know, in the esoteric occult world, especially for somebody that's unmelanated, you know, for for a non melanated person, he you know, he he did some things, you know, enough to, to bring his name up, you know what I'm saying, when you talk about occult and uh occult and esoteric knowledge. But uh Alistair Crowley, matter of fact, because Alistair Crowley also has a uh O two uh O T O division uh, in Baton Rouge, uh and New Orleans if I ain't mistaken. But uh, basically, Alistair Crowley, he ended up developing like a little a group, a little Templar, a little, you know, a little group basically where they practice magic, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when I say quote unquote magic, I mean, it really, you know, would, would be trying to practice magic, you know, dealing with the occult or whatever. But uh, this guy, Kenneth Grant, you know what I'm saying? He uh, basically, he took over uh, the OTO after uh, Alistair Crowley, you know what I'm saying? And uh, basically, he was uh, after he took over, he was in. He ended up being uh, excommunicated and being kicked out. But uh, the reason being uh, was because he knew that like all the the magic and things that they were doing and dealing with dealt with the indigenous people. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, you know, and that's why he was excommunicated. And two, that goes to my point of telling y'all. That's why I'm like, you know with the Freemasonry, like, all that, like, well, what if it has become, like, with the white supremacy dipping into it, you know what I'm saying, like, well, like, say, for instance, they didn't want Kenneth Grant to, to let everybody know that this comes from the indigenous people, so that's a, that's, that is a racist action that is saying, hey, suppress this knowledge, we don't want indigenous melanated people to know that, you know, we're practicing magic that comes from them, you know what I'm saying, you know, and that would be much more powerful if they practice it, you know what I'm saying? But Kenneth Grant was, you know, he came out with that information. It was like, you know, like, man, be real. Like, this the indigenous, you know, this is from indigenous melanated descent, you know what I'm saying? These entities, this process, like all this, you know what I'm saying? is basically dealing with, you know, with the melanated people, you know? Because there's another thing, too, where, uh, like, Crowley, like, uh, I forgot what book Crowley wrote. But he wrote a book where he was talking, he was actually talking to AWAS, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
AWAS is one of the ancient uh, comedic uh, entities or deities. Because, like, with all this, you know, these deities are personification of things that are within us, but they also are real entities, you know, also, you know. Like Jehudi uh, told Moses, like, that's all one in the same leg, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's all one in the same, but he ended up uh, connecting with AWAS too, you know what I'm saying? Which was a. Uh, you know, basically, in essence, a, a mel you know, a melanated being or being from that from that time. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I just find it interesting, you know, that the guy Kenneth Grant. You know, matter of fact, I think he uh, let's see, he wrote a book. I think it's called Magic Magical Revival. And I think in this book called Magical Revival, matter of fact, Magical Revival by Kenneth Grant. Cause another thing, man. I tell people, man, it's about scholarship, you know what I'm saying? Which I haven't read the book yet, but it's just about knowing where the information comes from, which I get the information itself from uh from the brethren Bobby Hemmett, you know what I'm saying? I'm always, you know, like to say where I get get these things from, you know what I'm saying? Because which they have so much scholarship backing up their stuff, I could kind of piggyback and then, you know, for sure give props, give thanks and praise to them, but, you know, I could kind of go off of the information they drop where all I got to do is just kind of minorly go look up like, all right, let me go see and make sure, you know, all right, yeah, you know, but for the most part, you know, it'd be the, the real, real deal knowledge, but yeah, check, just check into that about how, you know, like Kenneth Grant, he wrote a book called The Magical Revival, and basically he, he just talking about, you know, how like all the things they practice with the magic and this and that, it has to do with the melanin and basically the indigenous people. But that's information that, you know, that the OTO and the Alistair Crowley followers didn't want to get out there, you know what I'm saying? That's why he kind of made the, the Mark of the Beast thing look bad too. Like what, like the 666, I am the Mark of the Beast. Like too, to make you scared of your melanin in essence because you know if he started like tripping and like say for because he was doing bad shit you know like doing heroin this and that like having these little sex orgies and all this you know what i'm saying and then and, and a person like that like yeah 666 six, six, this and that and that's gonna scare you away from that of course you know that's, that's what his job was to do too like you know just trying to scare scare you away but to a certain extent because by him doing his work he also kind of gave proof to to the, you know, the, how I gotta say, the information of the ancients, you know what I'm saying, and knowing what's really going on with Kimmin and stuff like that, you know, where he connected to AWAS, like I say. But, uh, this is just a little, just a little information, you know, you should check out and look into, you know what I'm saying, like, like, cause, matter of fact, once I start looking a little into things, the next thing, you know, I find out that Alistair Crowley's grandson is George Bush, I'm like, Oh, that makes so much more sense. Which now, nah, I mean, at this point though, you start to realize that all those people are interconnected, man. The family of England, like that same type of style of control, it, it never changed. Like they try to keep it in the family. You know, it's not like you know, like the Rothschild family incest. They they don't even do people outside of their family. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything stays solely, you know, in the states. You know. Like with Obama is Dick Cheney cousin and Hillary and Trump cousins and all this type of you know craziness because it's, it's mimicking the raw family, but you know that's a whole nother you know different subject different story anyway. But yeah, just checking into that uh, Kenneth Grant, you know, wrote Magic the Magical Revival and he basically was just you know putting on blast that. Like, man, we dealing with this stuff from, you know, for indigenous and melanated people. And all of a sudden, bam, now you get ex excommunicated out of OTO, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, you know, what happened? But that's it. <laughs> Peace. Happened now. Now it's the vibrate. May not go too far in the future. May not go too far in the past. All right, now. Peace.